What is Matrix Awake? So recently some new sites have reported on the development of a Matrix video game titled Matrix Awake. The game is reported to be in development by a well-known developer and that it has been in production for more than three years. So today we're going to talk about this mysterious Matrix video game. Welcome to Matrix Explained. desert of the real. The news was reported by comicbook.com. Part of the article says, and I quote, A new video game tied to the Matrix film franchise might be in the works, if recent rumors is to be believed. Since the original Matrix movie first launched back in 1999, a handful of video games associated with the series have come about. Many of these projects were seen multiple decades ago though, which means that the property hasn't had much life in the video game space in recent years. Fortunately for those hoping to see a new Matrix game of a sort, it sounds like something could be in the pipeline. According to user Kuarkasis on social media, who has had a number of accurate leaks in the past, developer NetEase Games is said to have been working on a title tied to the Matrix. End quote. For some context, NetEase is a Chinese company generally focused on mobile gaming. They have developed and published a number of titles, like Dead by Daylight, Naraka Blade Point, Eve Echoes, Marvel Duels, and much more. The tweet that started the rumor says the following, quote, Speaking of NetEase's games, they've been working on a new Matrix game before the release of the Matrix Resurrections movie. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's still in development. The project was titled Awake. I'm not sure if it was a codename or an official subtitle. End quote. Now, is this confirmation that we're going to get a new Matrix video game? Not really. During the production of Matrix Resurrections, Several people and companies were working on projects to further expand the franchise. The most promising project announced was a sequel to The Animatrix, which developer John Guetta and Epic Games were working on. Epic created a world that was supposed to serve as the basis for new stories and video games. This project was released as a free tech demo on PlayStation 5. The demo was called Matrix Awakes, with an N and an S. In several interviews, John mentioned that he had many other ideas in mind to expand the demo. Sadly, they did not come to fruition. A lack of time, money, and or interest pulled the plug on the plans to expand the demo. The tech demo was eventually delisted everywhere, and its assets were released online for Unreal Engine users. So technically, you can access this demo in a way. And regarding the Animatrix 2 and other future projects that were meant to use this tech demo as their starting point, they were all put on hold. Now this rumor could be true, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to get a new Matrix video game. We believe that Matrix Awakens and Matrix Resurrections were Warner Brothers' attempts to revive the franchise, but neither did enough to boost interest in the Matrix. The movie, in particular, was a flop. Thus, all projects revolving around the Matrix were put on hold or cancelled, including this rumored video game. It is a fact that there are multiple scripts for potential Matrix spin-offs and reboots that never got the green light. Furthermore, we believe that NetEase's Matrix Awake was also put on hold after Matrix 4 flopped at the box office. Now, the optimist in us wants to believe that this game is not cancelled. There may be a chance, a small chance, that Warner licensed the Matrix IP to NetEase and or other companies to create video games. Hopefully, it's just the company waiting for the right time to officially announce the game. Let's say Matrix Awake wasn't cancelled. What kind of game can it be? What could be the plot? One of NetEase's most popular games is Naraka Blade Point. Part of its appeal is its combat style, which is visually similar to The Matrix. So maybe it's a game similar to Naraka, but within The Matrix, where you play as a red pill and level them up and develop unique abilities and powers. It can be an action RPG or an MMO-style RPG like Matrix Online. There are plenty of fans who have been praying for another Matrix Online-type game. During the Matrix 4 press conferences, it was mentioned more than once that the Matrix's aesthetic and style transfer perfectly to video games, but it seems that Warner doesn't see that. It is a potentially lucrative opportunity that Warner Brothers is not taking advantage of. How about another Hogwarts Legacy, but instead it's Zion's Legacy or something? Heck, why not be able to play as a recently created Matrix program? That would be an interesting angle. We could have a continuation of the Matrix Resurrections but in a video game. Why not? Think about this. Movie franchises like The Terminator and Robocop have found new levels of success in video game format. So why not The Matrix? Video games are helping these older franchises find new audiences. 
The Matrix is far too rich and deep to not be explored through interactive entertainment. Its lore is universal. Its potential as a video game franchise is immense. It can also tackle multiple genres, from sci-fi action to even survival horror. One game could be a first-person shooter that takes place during the Machine Civil War. Another game can happen inside a haunted house, inside the Nightmare Matrix. But sadly, there is probably no new Matrix product in active development. So it is up to the fans to let the suits at Warner Brothers know that we do want some more Matrix content. Worst case scenario, we get a Matrix Games as a Service game. Come to think of it, maybe we are better off without a new Matrix game. But do you agree? What do you think about this rumor of a new Matrix video game? Does it exist? Or was it canceled because of the Matrix Resurrections? At Metacortex, we're crafting the future today, working at the forefront of a new reality, virtual, augmented, crafted for you with proprietary machine learning and AI. We are among the top software companies in the world because our employees know they are more than just themselves. They're part of a whole. That's why they've repeatedly voted us as one of the most respectable software companies on the planet. Come join us today, Metacortex. For us, you are the one. Tired of your cookies not coming out as you want them to? That they don't taste like how your mother used to make them in her kitchen when you were a kid? Well, we have the solution for you. Introducing Oracle's Cookies. Made only with the best ingredients and benevolent intentions. That's it. Oracle's Cookies will make you feel like you're the only one who can save the world. So don't delay. Pick up the phone and order now. There is absolutely positively nothing suspicious about Oracle's Cookies. If you can't trust this face, who can you trust? Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.